guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm actually doing a little bit of an interesting piece I decided that I wanted to do a gigantic artwork of Waylord now I mainly did this because Waylord is a Pokemon that I wanted to draw however I thought that you know a small A4 would not cut it because Waylord is giant so actually what I started off doing was I did a little thumbnail sketch in my sketchbook now you saw that earlier and basically what I did was I scanned the, the sort of more refined sketch and then I printed it out over four pieces of paper so that it would be really really big. Now I actually got a bit of mount board or I don't know some kind of thicker board. I actually went to my local art store and I could not find a piece of express blending card big enough uh, nor mixed media card. So uh, the nice lady at my uh, local art store actually recommended this stuff and yeah it's actually really really sort of thick sort of mount board type thing but it actually worked really well for drawing on. Now as you saw I basically just scribbled on the, pa the back of the, the sketch paper and then I placed it over the uh, uh, mount board and then I traced over it so that the, that scribble would sort of transfer onto it so I could sort of get my sketch down on the big piece of paper. <laughs> now since this stuff is really really thick I had to do it this way because my light box would definitely not show light through. So after I got all of that done, I went over with some nice line art. Now I used my Gas and Food Aid pen as well as a few different multi-liners, mainly because I really wanted to get some thick, bold lines for this Waylord. After that, I went over with just my markers to draw in some nice little bits of coral and uh, other, you know, underwater elements, <laughs> sort of like some rocks, that type of thing. And I really wanted to layer this up and make it look really nice and sort of give it a bit of a depth effect to it. Now the way I did that was mainly just to use a few different uh, shades of colour and basically the rocks uh, in the, the deeper background sort of have a darker colour. Now for these rocks I used a C5 and then a C7 as well. Now for the colour of the coral, I wanted them to stand out and look nice against the blue water. However, I didn't want it to be too garish, so I decided to go with some nice subtle colours. Uh, a light pink, some purple, a bit of aqua and a nice sort of golden yellow colour. After that, it was time to draw in some Pokemon. Now I decided to do a whole lot of Pokemon uh, in this artwork not just Waylord himself I actually wanted to sort of do a like a sort of underwater you know scene where there's just Pokemon everywhere swimming around and then there's this gigantic Waylord jumping back into the water in the sort of background now of course it's not the background because he is the main focus however uh, all of these Pokemon are sort of closer to the viewer so that yeah that's what I wanted to do. After I got some nice sketches down I went in with my multi-liners to do the liner. Now the Pokemon that I chose to put in this illustration other than Waylord himself was Wingull, Buizel, Mantyke, Alamola, Melotic, Vaporeon, Huntel, Gorobus, Spiel, Love Disc, Basculin, Octillery, Feebas, Horsey, Corsola, Chinchow, Dratini, Magikarp, Finneon, Remoraid, I also did uh, Poliwag, Luminion, uh, there's also an Azumarill somewhere in there, as well as some Wishy Washy, a Shelda, and finally a Squirtle. Now there's a lot of Pokemon in this illustration and, um, and I probably wouldn't have been able to get all of those details down if this wasn't a huge size. A few of them are actually sort of smaller and silhouetted. Now I did this on purpose so that I could sort of get more of a depth effect. So those are sort of larger Pokemon compared to the ones in the foreground. However, they are sort of further back and uh, darker. And this is mainly so I can get a bit of a depth effect.
After drawing in all of those Pokemon, I went in with some more background elements, a bit of darker rocks and more of the coral to sort of nestle some of those Pokemon into the foreground. And yeah, just to get some nice little uh, details down, because this is a very, very large illustration. So I was finally able to get lots of little details in really nicely, and it wasn't too tight or anything like that because of the large size of this illustration. After I finally got all of them uh, inked down, uh, it was time to color them in. Now I had a lot of fun coloring these in and this uh, mount board type paper, which isn't really a paper, it's actually really really thick and sort of almost cardboard like or solid. Anyways, it was actually really really good with the markers. I was actually surprised because this stuff isn't designed for markers, I don't think. It's actually designed for mounting art onto. So it was actually really good, uh, a good find for me to actually get this stuff because I wasn't able to get any other paper in this big size. I actually tried to find the biggest size I could and yeah, this was it. Now I have to say out of all of these Pokemon, other than Waylord of course, my favourites would have to be the Vaporeon, the Buizel and the Squirtle. I'm not sure why, I just really, really like those poses that I put them in and the colours that I got uh, onto them were just really kind of satisfying and um, I really like those as additions to this artwork. Now that I finally got all of that done, it was time to mask it all off so I could finally do the background. Now I did that with a mix of paper, masking tape, masking fluid, and of course some clear contact. Now some of the paper kind of failed a little bit and I got a little bit on areas which I hoped I wouldn't get. However, I was able to fix that up so that it's not too noticeable at the end. So I started off with my airbrush going into the sky. Now I just did a nice light layer of frost blue and that really set the scene for the sky. After that, I masked it off with some masking tape and I started on the ocean. Now, I definitely used a mix of holiday blue and a lot of different other blues, ice ocean, process blue, stratospheric blue, agate, night blue. There's so many that I can't really name all of them, but I basically went through and did a whole lot of different colors to try and get a nice sort of water gradient to get it nice and deep at the bottom, but also light at the top with a slight green tinge to it as well because I like to add a bit of green into my oceans. I don't know why, I just find it really nice looking. But anyways, after I finally got all of that done, I went in with the airbrushing of Waylord himself. Now, I used a mixture of stratospheric blue and royal blue, and those two colors worked really nicely for Waylord. At the start, it was kind of difficult to try and get a nice even color. However, I just kept going over it and trying to fix up parts that were a bit lighter than others, and I finally got it to a point where I really liked it. After I got all of that done and peeled off the masking of all the Pokemon and Coral, I actually find that uh, they popped really nicely against that dark background. And it's just kind of really satisfying to see all of those colors pop against the blue of the background. And also the dark colors of the silhouetted Pokemon uh, sort of uh, blending in with the dark background. I think that that looks really nice. After that, I went in with Waylord's tummy. Now, Waylord's tummy is a sort of bluey gray color. And as I mentioned before, some of the uh, blue from Waylord sort of got onto that gray part, which it was a little bit disappointing. However, I just went over uh, with my gray marker over most of the tummy part. And then what I actually did was I used a bit of airbrush to get some of that same blue that accidentally got on there. And I just sort of lightly went over that as well to sort of camouflage it. And I actually gave the tummy a nice tint of blue and actually made it look really nice. After that, I decided to add some nice little bubbles with my color splendor and a water line where Waylord is splashing into the water. And yeah, that actually finished off the illustration and made it look really nice. 
Now, I want to actually pause here for a second and let you guys know that I really, really, really appreciate all your nice comments and stuff like that. Um, I've got a lot of nice comments recently and yeah, I just want to let you guys know that I'm so thankful for that. And I'm also so thankful for you guys helping me reach 7,000 subscribers on YouTube. I actually haven't mentioned that, so I actually wanted to acknowledge it and say thanks. You guys are the best and to be honest, you give me so much inspiration to keep drawing. So here is the final result and to be honest, this is the, probably the biggest artwork I've done. This is, I think, a two. Now, I can't believe that I finally got all of this done. I know this video is a little bit late. However, I think it's worth it because to be honest, this is probably one of my favorite artworks I've done yet. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.